Hello, Steve Dunk again. I'm here to talk to you about the next dispensation. So far we've had Man Innocent with his Adam in the Garden and Man Under Conscience which is Abel and that ends with the sons of God going in under the daughters of men and they produce giants and monstrosities and things of that nature and God says that's it I'm going to flood out the whole earth but one man found grace in the eyes of the Lord and it was Noah so he commissioned Noah to build the ark and uh, he and his three sons and all their wives so there was eight people on board the ark plus the animals and uh, they survived that's how they were saved was they built a boat they believed God and they built the boat and they got on and they were saved the Bible says they were saved by water what were they saved from well they were saved from the giants and they were saved from all the wickedness of the day the Bible says that men's hearts were evil continually all the time getting kind of like uh, like it is uh, almost like it is today well anyhow getting back to business here what happened after the ark parked on the mountains of Ararat uh, I'll read you a little bit every dispensation has a little bit of a different rule uh, that goes in verse chapter 9 of verse 1 it says uh, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air upon all that moveth on the earth and upon the fishes in the sea into your hand are they delivered every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you even as the green herb have I given you all things so what's that tell you it tells you that from Adam to Noah man was a vegetarian he ate fruits and vegetables and and whatnot but now he's to eat meat after the flood he's commissioned to eat meat so first of all they eat meat second of all and surely your blood at uh, surely your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast will I require it and at the hand of man and at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man whoso sheddeth man's blood by man shall his blood be shed for the image of God made he man so capital punishment now if somebody kills somebody uh, there to die the death and you be fruitful and multiply uh, bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein so you have capital punishment they're to be fruitful and multiply and they're not to eat uh, uh, blood or anything of that nature they're to work righteousness and sacrifice if they sin the blood sacrifice is always there the Bible says without the shedding of blood there's no remission of sin okay how does that end up well man's told to scatter all over the world what does he do he gets together under a ruler by the name of Nimrod and they build the Tower of Babel and God says let us Father, Son, Holy Ghost, let us go down in there and confound the languages. And they, con they confounded the languages, and they were scattered all over the world. Now that was the judgment that ends the dispensation called human government. So that brings us to a close of that. Uh, next time we're going to talk about Abraham. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.